Hey everybody, Zach here. AJ. <laughs> love that. So we are in week four and I love week four because we get to do some of my favorite things in week four. EJ, can you tell them what the goal of week four is going to be? We will learn how to, to design things that will work for lots of the people. That's right. So we're learning how to design lessons that work for a bunch of people. Um, and that is, by definition, the idea of what Universal Design for Learning provides. So this week is all around practical application of UDL. EJ, what's step one to practical application of UDL? It's where you decide what you want to, to teach. Nice. Decide what you want to teach. And what did you draw here for that? Target. Okay, why did you draw target? Because it is a... Uh, uh, is it uh, learning goals? Okay. It's all around learning goals, knowing what you want to hit, knowing your target. Okay. What's step two? List of how you you know the, the lesson gets as we learn. Okay. So create your list um, or create your series of non-negotiables or whatever it is that will indicate to you that the lesson's gotten learned. I love this picture, EJ. Can you tell mm -hmm. us about it? Teacher will, will teach the, the uh, uh, students to learn about uh, again the knowledge of a list. Okay, so there's a list there that cues the teacher. Okay, the, the students are hitting what they're they're showing me what I need they need to show me in order to, for me to know that they're learning it. You did something really cool in that you drew a picture or an arrow to this for so that the student knows this and the teacher and both have a pencil so they both can assess it. I thought that was a really cool drawing that you did. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Um, next step, what's that one? We're making a plan that the real removes various from um, using a UDL. Okay, and so tell me about this picture. Here's the student and they're at, what does that say? Not the knowing. And then what's over here? And the, and the last one is uh, knowing. And so what are we trying to remove for kids? Engaging in the barrier. And we 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 presentation in the barriers and action and the expression barriers. So we're trying to remove barriers in learning environments related to engagement, representation, and action expression. And we're using UDL to do that this week. Got it? Yes. Boom. It's going to be a great week. Can't wait.